Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Cobert, and today's episode is a preview of the 2018 NFL Draft class, specifically with the top five best running backs in the class based on analytics. And when it comes to the top five, the way I came to this number is by three different categories. One is total offensive market share production. Uh, this is a metric that goes all the way back to the 19... 69 NFL draft class specifically when it comes to running backs and it's just looking at what their production is relative to pro bowlers three-time pro bowlers and even all pro players uh, the second aspect is age uh, this is a big factor when it comes to running backs because the majority of the all pro players at the running back position were relatively young uh, the the age score for that position at least for all pros is 79 or higher uh, so the top backs have to at least be above that mark. And if they don't hit that mark, the Pro Bowl threshold for age is 56 or higher when it comes to that particular number. So we're going to be kind of looking at that in terms of trying to quantify the potential of a particular back. Do they have the potential to be one of the best running backs of all time? Or do they have the potential to be one of the best, very good running backs of all time <laughs> is kind of the other sort of area with that. And then the last aspect is athleticism. Uh, the only sort of data that I have when it comes to athleticism right now is the speed score that is reported by NFLDraftScout.com. Now, keep in mind that this is a number that can change drastically. Uh, the combine can change everything. Uh, so this number may be different. They may not be this fast when they get, get to the combine, but the one thing I've known about NFL Draft Scout is usually their numbers are fairly reliable when it comes to reporting of 40-yard dashes and size scores at the very least weight seems to be a fairly reliable number when it comes to nfl draft scout at the very least uh, so we're just going to be looking at speed scores and when it comes to the running back position uh, 100 percent of multiple all pro or multiple pro bowl running backs since the 1999 nfl draft class had at least one athleticism score of 79 or higher uh, so the backs that have a speed score above 79 at least a preliminary speed score above 79 are going to test better than the backs that get below that number uh, so those are the three metrics production age and the speed score and we'll get on to the list at number five we have miles gaskins uh, running back out of washington uh, when it comes to his height, he was 5'9", 191 pounds. Uh, the 40 that was reported with NFL Draft Scout was a 4540, and his age score is very good uh, with a 96.13 age score. Uh, but these are the basic facts when it comes to him. When it comes to his production, he scored 54.96 out of 100 in terms of his uh, total offensive market share production. That's at least three-time Pro Bowl level when it comes to that particular metric. Uh, and speed-wise, he scored a 37.67 speed score. He doesn't hit the high-quality outcomes when it comes to the speed score. But here's the basic reason why he's here at number five. He's here at number five because of his production hitting the three-time Pro Bowl level and because of his age at 96.13. If he comes into the season and has an amazing season, you know, does a lot better than he did last year when it comes to his market share production, and if he goes to the combine and let's say he tests well in terms of the short show and the three cone or tests well in terms of the uh, explosion numbers, then I think that'll kind of bump up his score a little bit as well. So he just has a lot of positives when it comes to just his production, when it comes to his age especially, and that's why he's number five on the list. At number four, we have Nick Chubb running back out of Georgia. Uh, when it comes to his factuals, at least in terms of measurables, uh, he's 5'10", 228 pounds, and ran a 4'5", 4, 4, 4, uh, 40, according to NFL Draft Scout. Uh, when it comes to his overall profile, the big things is one production, scored a 69.50 total offensive market share production score. That hits the five-time Pro Bowl level when it comes to back since the 1969 NFL Draft class. And in terms of speed score, he scored an 87.93 overall speed score for his size, uh, which is impressive as well. Hits the sort of mark when it comes to high quality players at his position when it comes to speed score. But the only th reason why he's here at number four is not so much about his injury history, which he does have a very extensive injury history so far, but it's with his age. He's only going to hit a 68.07 age score when he enters the draft. 
and that kind of bumps his his quality down a bit when it comes to the greatest court, the greatest running backs of all time when it comes to that particular metric. Uh, so I think Nick Chubb is definitely a very talented running back. He has the production. He has the athleticism scores that you're looking for at that position. But his age kind of bumps him down a little bit, and the injury history is something to of uh, you know is something to be concerned about uh, when you have a back who consistently has things that happen and also when you have major knee injuries which is something that he has had in his uh, career uh, so he's still number four on the list because of that production and because of that athleticism but it's still going to be kind of a question in terms of can he last long term based on his injury history and his age will also be somewhat of a disadvantage when you look at him compared to other great backs in the long scheme of things. But he's still a great back and I hope you guys check him out and that's why he's number four on this list. At number three we have Royce Freeman running back out of Oregon. Uh, when it comes to his reported height and weight he's 5'10", 231 pounds. Uh, NFL Draft Scout reported him having a 4'5", 4'40". And when you look at his profile, just from a production standpoint, it scored 75.04 in terms of uh, total offensive market share production, which is very good, on top of having a 91.36 speed score for his size based on his height and based on his weight. All those marks are really impressive. Uh, the only reason why he's number three on the list is similar to Nick Chubb is that his age, he's only going to have a 76.22 age score, which is almost at that 79 age score area you know it's three it's about three points away from hitting that age uh, threshold but he didn't hit the threshold so he's here for that main reason but uh, this shouldn't discount what he's done in terms of production and in terms of age he also has somewhat of an injury history as well to Nick Chubb not as serious of an injury history as Nick Chubb but definitely has uh, some injuries that ended his seasons a couple times uh, and that's just the basic thing with Royce Freeman, uh, production, athleticism, uh, decent size overall, and didn't quite hit the all-pro level age score, but did hit the Pro Bowl level age score. So according to all three of these metrics, he's a back that you should definitely highly, highly value, and I definitely hope you guys check him out soon. And that's why he's number three on this list. And number two, we have Darius Geis running back out of LSU. When it comes to his height and weight, he was 5'11", 212 pounds, and the reported 40 for him at NFLDraftScout.com is a 4'5", 240. Uh, his big things that help him out a lot is one, production and age. In terms of total offensive market share production, he scored 73.95 out of 100, which hits the five-time Pro Bowl mark when it comes to running back since the 1969 NFL Draft class. On top of his age score with a 98.46 overall age score, he's very productive. He's very young. He's obviously going to improve on these numbers, especially with the fact that Leonard Fournette is in the NFL now and not on the team anymore, so he won't be splitting carries as much. Uh, and the only reason why he's number two is because the speed score that was reported from NFL Draft Scout based on his height and weight is only 63.58 out of 100. Uh, that's just not getting it done. It's not hitting that 79 mark. Now, keep in mind, if he goes to the combine and he runs faster or he's bigger or if he has a, a better vertical and a broad jump which kind of bumps his, his uh, status up or he has a really good short shoulder in the three cone now that will definitely bump his status up and make him into the type of back that he needs to be to hit that high quality mark but at least based on the information that we have now he didn't hit the speed score he needed to hit in terms of high quality outcomes but his age and his production markers are so good that he just has to be number two on this list. Uh, if he improves even slightly uh, in terms of just his overall production, there's lots of positive things in his profile. And I have no doubt that when he goes to the combine, he will definitely improve upon some of these numbers and probably will put up a decent vertical on a broad jump or a decent short troll on a three cone. Uh, so don't get too worried about Darius guys. There are lots of positives in terms of his profile. It says he doesn't quite hit the speed score he needs to hit, but he's still number two on this list because of that production and that age score are so high compared to the other backs in this class. And then number one, is it a surprise? It's Saquon Barkley running back out of Penn State. Uh, when it comes to his height and weight, he was 5'11", 223 pounds, and had a 4'4", 940, according to NFL Draft Scout. 
he hits every single mark out of the park when it comes to his profile. Scored a 75.46 total offensive market share production score, which is five-time Pro Bowl level. Uh, age score is 95.93 out of 100, uh, which is very impressive as well. Uh, and on top of that, his speed score for his size is 87.10 out of 100, which hits the speed score he needs to hit in terms of high-quality outcomes at the next level. So in terms of production, in terms of age, in terms of speed, he hits all those marks at a very high level. There's no doubt in my mind that he'll obviously improve on his production marks, most likely. And even if he doesn't improve on his production marks, he still had a five-time Pro Bowl quality season last year. And age-wise, is still going to be the way it is. And speed score is going to be the way it is. He may even improve on this. So there's no doubt in my mind, just based on paper, that Saquon Barkley is the top back in the 2018 NFL Draft class. He hits all the marks that you're looking for when it comes to the running back position. And it's going to be really exciting to see what he does this season. Hopefully he doesn't have the type of season that most running backs have for whatever reason their junior season where they get banged up or they get nicked up or they get injured uh, for whatever reason. But I do think that there's a lot of positives in terms of Barkley's profile. He's already done enough things on paper to suggest a high quality player. And I would not be surprised if he continues the trend that we've been seeing in terms of running backs being taken in the top 10 or the top 5 in the NFL draft because he has that type of talent, he has the production, he has the age, he has everything that you want and I'm going to be very excited to get into his film in the future and that is why he is number 1 on this list. So this concludes the top 5 running backs for the 2018 NFL draft class based on analytics. Uh, my name is James Coburn. You can find my work at draftcoburn.wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Geometrics. And again, if you like this content, if you want more content like this, be sure to like and subscribe. That helps me out a ton when you guys do that. Uh, share the videos with friends and family, uh, you know, anybody you know uh, to get the good name out there as well. And check out the 2017 NFL Draft Analytics Guide available on Amazon slash Kindle today. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. And by the way, let me know who do you think is the best running back in the 2018 class. Uh, I always like to hear some names thrown out there about those types of players. Uh, even FCS guys, if you have a, a favorite FCS running back or a lower level division running back that you think isn't getting enough love, just leave a comment below. It's always hard to keep track of all those types of guys at that level of competition. So it, it's always helpful to kind of get a guy to throw out a name here or there. So uh, be sure to leave a comment below about who you believe is the best running back, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.